Welcome to Lisa's Littles. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today is Saturday. Happy Saturday to everyone. I am here with Mickey and Milo, and this is their very first PJ Saturday. I wanted to bring them on because, like I said, it is their first PJ Saturday. And so I have Milo wearing a vintage sleeper that has little trucks all over it. It is white and the trucks are red and blue. The red trucks have blue wheels and the blue trucks have red wheels. And then there's also yellow trucks that have red wheels. So he is wearing a vintage sleeper, sleep and play. These are the ones that out of the package that I got from Lucky Ducky Nursery. He is also playing with our new glow friend butterfly and then on the side of him i have mickey and he is actually wearing the sleeper that milo came in and it is size three months by i believe it was child of mine and it has blue stripes and little dog paws on the bottom of his feet and it is striped and you can't see it because he's playing with handy manny or handy manny but there is a dog on the front. I think two little dogs on the front. But there they are for their very first PJ Saturday. They decided, yes, they wanted to come on and I let them pick out some toys so that they would kind of sit still. Um, like I said, Milo's playing with our new butterfly glow friend and he actually loves him, but it is kind of hard. I read in the comments where someone said that their actual son had one of those and it was kind of hard to turn it on. It is. You have to press pretty hard to get him to light up. So basically, Milo's just been holding him, you know, playing, or excuse me, her, that is Lucy. And then Mickey decided to dig through my son's old toys and he found Handy Manny. And so he is playing with Handy Manny. And Handy Manny, I believe is vintage too. Or if he's not, he's getting there because I know my son got that back in, I believe it was like 2006 or seven. It might've been 2008, but I know Handy Manny is quite uh, getting up there in age too. And that is the Handy Manny uh, little man that came on a motorcycle and you could take the motorcycle apart and put it back together. And unfortunately we don't have the motorcycle anymore, but for some reason we held on to the Handy Manny figure and we have him. And I also have a Handy Manny tool, talking toolbox, but it is missing the tools. I have the actual toolbox, so I've been going on eBay and trying to see if I can find the tools to put them back into the box for the twins to play with. And I've been keeping an eye out, but right now people want too much for them. So I figure if, if I just wait and they're on eBay for a little while, people usually mark them down or will take a best offer. So right now we're just looking for those. But there they are, my two little redheaded boys. Um, what is really funny about these dolls, you guys, is <laughs> my daughter calls them, I can't remember, she said something about them being demons or something. Oh no, she called them ugly. My bad. She called them uh, my little ugly redheaded dolls. So apparently my daughter does not think that they're very cute. My sons, on the other hand, my oldest son, and my two, um, not my middle, but my third down son, two of them, they keep saying that they are problem child. <laughs> that they, that they remind, they both remind them of uh, Junior Healy off of Problem Child. And so when I say anything about the boys, my son calls them the Problem Child boys because he told me I had two juniors because remember in the movie, his name is Junior. And so every time they look at him or say anything about Milo and Mickey, they say that they're a problem child. They're the kids from Problem Child. But yeah, my daughter thinks that they're ugly. She calls them my ugly redheaded boys. So apparently she doesn't think Milo and Mickey are cute like we do, you guys, but that's okay because I think they're cute. I super duper think Milo's face is cute, and I also think that Mickey's face is cute, but I kind of tend to lean towards Milo's face. I really think he looks to be sculpted after a real little boy, and Mickey's face kind of, kind of is mixed between a real boy and a doll, 
in my opinion. You guys may not think that. You might think that they both look like it, but when I stare at Milo's face, his face really does remind me of a real little boy. So I kind of gravitate toward Milo. Mickey is adorable and will be in videos too, but for some reason I just kind of gravitate towards Milo. But yeah, guys, it is Saturday. Um, yesterday, because if you guys all know, I recorded my video Thursday night for Friday. Um, yesterday, we actually had a break and we only got a little bit of rain really, really early in the morning. And then for the rest of the day, it was just cloudy, partly cloudy, partly sunny. So we actually had a break in the rain on Friday. Excuse me, today is Saturday. It is supposed to rain all day today, all day Sunday, all day Monday, and all day Tuesday. So we have four days coming up of a lot of rain. Now the wind, I have not heard anything about the wind. Thank goodness, knock on wood, we did not lose power. We did have really strong winds, but we did not lose power. Um, so I am hoping that if we do get a lot of rain, we won't get the heavy wind and we won't lose power, but to be determined because even the news said that they don't really know yet, that they will know more probably by Sunday about what Monday and Tuesday's storm is gonna be, so. And then after that, it kind of looks like maybe we're in the clear for no more rain for a week. So we shall see. Other than that, um, I checked on my Timu order. I'm hope, I hope I'm saying that right. That just sounds so funny. But I checked on my Timu order. It did make it to Los Angeles, California. It is, it did say that it cleared customs and now it just says in transit. And it has just been in transit for approximately 12 hours. There has been no update for the past 12 hours, but I know that it did make it to the United States. So I am hoping that it gets here either tomorrow or Monday or Tuesday at the latest so that I can do a haul and show you guys all the cute stuff that I got Emma. And since everybody uh, told me that their sizes run bigger, I'm kind of thinking that some of it will probably fit Mia. So we shall see. And then I ordered my dog a toy from there, like a stuffed toy. Um, let's see what else. I think that's it. I kind of just wanted to do a few shout outs. Um, I haven't done any shout outs. Also, for those of you who answered my question on Friday's video about all of the different themes, you all are thinking the way that I'm thinking. I'm doing the ones that I wanna do and that I can do, and I might mix it up here and there, but there is absolutely zero way of being able to do every single theme that has came out. I do enjoy some of the old, old themes I do think some of the new themes are cool, but for the time being, I'm going to do the themes that I want to do, that I can do, and I may mix it up to where it's not the same themes every week, but kind of like mix it up. Keeping it, uh, keeping it, uh, what do you call it? I'm drawing a blank. Keeping things spicy, I don't know. Anyways, I wanted to give a few shout outs. Um, these are just channels that are really great supporters of my channel. They, <laughs> excuse me, they themselves have awesome channels. So if you are not subscribed to them, please go and check them out. I will include their little channel um, photo in this video. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to stick them in the links or not, but I know whenever you see these guys, You'll probably recognize almost all of them. Some of them may or may not have content. I do have several followers who have channels, but they don't make content, but I still would like to um, recognize them in being such great friends and coming to our channel and watching our videos. So I have about seven, yeah, seven, six or seven shout outs. So I'm gonna go ahead and do those. First up is Pretty Poppets Reborn and Doll Nursery, which everyone knows Bonnie. So I'm sure all of you are subscribed to Bonnie, but she is an awesome person. She has an awesome channel. So if you are not subscribed to her, please go over and check her channel out. 
Next up, we have Rena Reborns Are Forever. She has an awesome channel. And man, whenever she changes babies, let me tell you, she changes babies. She will have like 10 babies all dressed for a certain theme. She is awesome. So if you have not checked out her channel, please do so. Next up, we have Marilyn's Dolly Land. She has a great channel. She has really cute babies. She just shared a little bag of accessories that she got for her dolls. And it had a super cute little pink bear in it. So if you have not checked out Marilyn's Dolly Land, I suggest you go over and check out her channel because she is a great supporter and also has a great channel. Next up, we have Callie's Room with Reborns, Cats, and Nonsense. She also has a great channel. She does a lot of outings and different things. She has dolls, she has hauls, you name it, she has it. She has an awesome channel. If you are not subscribed to her, I suggest you go over and check out her channel because I just watched a video today where she took me down the Easter aisle at Walmart so I could get a good glimpse of what their Walmart had. Um, so yeah, if you are not subscribed, go over and check her channel out. Next up is Cindy's Baby Love. Everyone knows Cindy. Cindy is a sweet lady with sweet babies. She has a great channel. Um, she likes to do all the themes. She has monkeys. So if you are not subscribed to her channel, please go over and check out Cindy's Baby Love because she also has an awesome channel. Next up is Pam Davis. Pam is an awesome supporter. Pam has a channel, but Pam does not upload any videos to my knowledge. Now, Pam, I have visited your channel and I have checked out uh, your channel and there was no video. So I'm assuming you're just having a channel to be able to watch other people's stuff. But Pam is an awesome person. And I just wanted to thank her for watching our videos. She jumps right on my shorts and always comments on all my shorts that she can comment on. And she watches some of my regular videos and she's just an awesome person. So thank you, Pam, for being a great friend. And last but not least for today, we have Mother's Loving Arms Nursery by Grace JF. She has a great channel also. Um, great babies, great outfits, beautifully done videos. So if you have not checked out Grace, or excuse me, Mother's Loving Arms Nursery by Grace JF, I suggest you do so. She does all the themes. She dresses her babies for the themes. She does it all. So if you have not checked out her channel, please do so. So there are some shout outs, guys. I haven't done them in a while. I think it's at least been a month or two. Um, I kind of slowed down on them because behind the scenes, I got a little bit of negativity for the shout outs. So I kind of just stopped it and kept it quiet for a while. Um, unfortunately, I know that we will always get negative Nancy's no matter what we try to do. Um, all I'm trying to do is support channels that I like to watch and to let others know that you are out there and you are putting out uh, relatively the same kind of content I am. And so if they're here enjoying my channel, I think, hey, maybe they can go over and enjoy their channel too. And that's all I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to pick favorites. I'm not trying to kiss anyone's behind. I'm not trying to get clout. I'm not trying to do anything except for build the community up and let these people know who do not know these channels hey these people are out here they do similar content to me go over and check out their channel because i'm sure that you will enjoy it so yes but i was accused i was accused of kissing butt um trying to get clout off of other channels which is ridiculous in my opinion i have never done that um yeah, <laughs> picking favorites was a big complaint. Picking favorites, saying that I was only shouting out channels who were my favorites. Well, obviously, duh, I'm picking channels that I like, but everyone is equal. Not one channel is better than the other. So please, trolls, get that through your thick school that any channels that I shout out are equal in my eyes. So... These people that I just shouted out, 
their channel is as equal as mine, just like mine is as equal as theirs. Mine is no better, theirs is no better. We are all on equal neutral ground. So I'm not trying to get clout, I'm not trying to kiss butt, and I'm not trying to uh, name favorites. So for those of you who messaged me accusing me of that, you're all wrong. So I just kind of kept it quiet, quit doing the shout outs for a while, but I figured, hey, it's Saturday. It is PJ Saturday and it is Mickey and Milo's first PJ Saturday. And so that was Mickey and Milo's first shout outs too. So nanny, nanny, boo boo on you. All right, guys, with that being said, that's going to do it for this video. Mickey, Milo, and I enjoyed, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it for you. And until next time, bye guys. Thanks for watching.